Now, this is a secondary backup I'm running. It only took 28 seconds to create this backup. Hi, and welcome back. So today I have something special for those who are running Proxmox virtual environment and their infrastructure. It came to my attention that not a lot of people are familiar with another product that Proxmox has, Proxmox Backup Server. And yes, I'm aware that Proxmox VE has ability to create backups that are local or even external or even SMB or whatever other file share you want to use. But if you use Proxmox Backup Server, you get so many features that you don't get with Proxmox VE. And I want to show you those features today. So here I have my Proxmox VE. I have a basic of VM right now, virtual machine Windows 11. And I already have configured, as you can see, one of my Proxmox backup server eight. And this Proxmox backup server is offsite. It's not even in the same infrastructure, but both of these machines have internet connection, meaning Proxmox VE has internet connection through fiber and Proxmox backup server has internet connection through fiber as well. But anyway, I digress. So here are the backups. I have no backups right now on this particular storage and I have no backups on local storage either. So I'm going to create backup right now and I'm going to select for storage Proxmox backup server eight and I'll start the backup process. As many of you know that use Proxmox VE, when you create a backup, it always creates a full size backup. With Proxmox VE, when you create other backups after creating the first backup, it only backs up the files that have been changed from the previous time. So basically incremental backups. This is one of the biggest advantages or one of the advantages you get using Proxmox Backup Server. And I'm just going to wait for this to finish creating a backup. 80 minutes later. So the first full backup of this VM has been created and I want to point out a few things. Here's the size of this VM, it's 40 gigabytes, but it only backed up 11.6 gigabytes. And it took basically 10 minutes and 38 seconds. Average speed was 64 megabits per second. I'm not mistaking, that's what this is. Megabits, not megabytes. And the backup was successful. It sent out an email, as you can see. Now, let's take a look at our backups here. First of all, our backups are encrypted, as you can see right here. Proxmox VE encrypts the backup or encrypts this container and transfers it over the internet while it's encrypted and it's stored on the Proxmox backup server encrypted. And whoever operates or manages your Proxmox backup server, they cannot view the content of the backup. Only the Proxmox VE can view the content and restore the backup. Also, there's a verification process right here. Or status right now it says none because there's a schedule on proxmox backup server runs once a day or depending how often you want it to run and the thing is what is the point of having a backup if you're not sure if the backup is not corrupted because let's say if the backup is corrupted and you try to restore it you might not be able to restore it or even if you restore it the virtual machine will have problems so Backup verification is really important. Also, another thing I want to point out, if I try to remove this backup right now, it's going to fail. We configure our Proxmox backup server not to allow Proxmox VE to delete backups. The reason we do this, let's say for whatever reason, your Proxmox VE got compromised. That actor is going to want to delete those backups. Well, they can't delete those backups because Proxmox backup server does not allow to delete those backups, period. So now I wanna show you something else, another cool feature. But before I can show you this feature, I need to make a text file. Here it is. I'm gonna open up this text file. We'll type something in here. Save it. And let's create another backup. Same location, Proxmox backup server eight. And I want to point something out this time. The next morning. Now, this is a secondary backup I'm running. It only took 28 seconds to create this backup. It only backed up 1.18 gigabytes in 21 seconds, basically. Altogether, it took 27 seconds. But to transfer 1.18 gigabytes it took 
21 seconds at 57 megabits per second average. And this is the one of the big advantages you get using Proxmox backup server. You don't get this feature using Proxmox VE itself. And now let's close this out. It's gonna load our backups right here. Here are the backups. I can see the date and time. And the cool feature I wanted to show you is file restore. I don't have to, as a system admin, to restore the whole VM if I want to restore a few files or a few folders. I can browse this backup. Here are our disks, our virtual disks. Here's that 40 gigabyte disk. I can expand this. Here are the partitions. The 40 gig partition right here, basically. Partition 3, C partition for Windows. And I can start exploring the file structure of this backup of this VM backup. In this case, I'm gonna look for that text file from earlier. And here it is. I can download a text file. Here it is, I just downloaded it. Here's a text file. I can download the whole folder. I can download it as zip or tar. As a system admin, you get more flexibility when it comes to restoring or accessing backups instead of restoring the whole VM, basically. You can just restore a file or a folder. And once again, you don't get that kind of ability with Proxmox VE by itself. You need to use Proxmox backup server. And I think that's it for today. That's all the features I wanted to show you of Proxmox backup server. I hope you learned something new. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.